Hey everybody, it's Angie and I'm back with Lilia to do her eight week life update. So Lilia is eight weeks old this week and she is a growing girl like always. So this week she's weighing 5.7 kilos, her head circumference is now 39.5 centimeters and her length is 60.5 centimeters. So she's definitely, you know, on the right track of her growth. Now this week she's also grown out of her 4-0 outfits, which is both a happy and sad time for me and my husband John. Um, a happy note is that, you know, there's always a lot more clothes, you know, available for, you know, in the three zeros. But on the sad side, she's also, you know, growing out of the teeny tiny baby thing. So I know she's, you know, no longer a little tiny newborn. Um, but I guess, you know, that is always going to happen because obviously all babies grow and, you know, get older and each and every day. Now this week Lily had a lot of firsts in her life so we actually went on our first mini family holiday for me and my husband's anniversary um, and she actually popped her feet in the ocean water which she didn't hate so which was also a big plus for us because you know we love going to the beach in summertime and I really hoped that she loved the water too so um, that's always a good sign that she you know is going to enjoy um, the water at the beach. Another thing that um, she also did for her first was that she went for her first spa bath, like her first spa bath in like the pools and things like that at the hotel. She absolutely loved it. She kicked her little heart out um, and she just gooed and guard and smiled and was just so happy. So that was also a really good, um, nice little thing that we got to experience with her for her very first time. Um, also this week she also got her needles now her needles she did not enjoy one little bit she actually cried her little heart out more than what she did when she got her tongue tie cut which you know it was I wasn't expecting her to cry as much as she did because obviously she did get her tongue cut at four weeks and you know she did cry a fair bit then and I was expecting her needles to be a less a lot less painful I guess but she just cried and cried and cried oh. and she just uh, it was heartbreaking to see um, but she didn't calm very fast when I popped her on the breast after she was everything was done and she calmed down so that was good to know um, also this week she's still hating the car rides now a trip up to the um, up the coast where we stayed for our little mini holiday didn't go as bad as I thought it was going to be but it was still pretty bad she screamed pretty much three quarters of the way through are you doing a poo okay uh, I'll have to change you in a second yeah um, but it could have been a lot worse so I'm very grateful for that but um, I'm always after some suggestions some tips that you know if anybody else has gone through the same sort of problem of you know their child not liking the car so at the moment we've got her favorite radio station playing which is basically just pure static um, and we've also got a mirror and we've also got a um, octopus strap I put up today with some toys hanging down which I'm hoping that will work this afternoon when I go and pick my husband up from work I'm not too sure just have my fingers crossed that that will make a little bit of a difference but if you guys have any other you know suggestions and things like that I'm more than open to try anything at the moment now we'll put a picture down you know I've just popped her into the, the capsule to have a look at you know the whereabouts I would put the octopus strap for her to have a you know play at the toys and things like that in case people don't know what an octopus strap is like in Australia so it's like a basically a big long stretchy rope I'm pretty sure it's called an octopus strap everywhere in the world but just in case it isn't I'll link a picture down below of her in the car seat with the octopus strap so you guys can you know know what I'm talking about um, but yeah like I said I'm open for some suggestions um, other than that I'm pretty much I think that's pretty much all Lilia's update for this week now as you can see she's very happy and the reason why she's very happy at the moment and smiling so much is because she's looking at our ceiling fan Oh, you right. Now she's actually looking at our ceiling fan that's actually going around and around and around and she absolutely loves the ceiling fan. So I don't know what it is about it, but she definitely loves it. Um, so that anytime she's upset or sad, we pop her underneath the ceiling fan, turn it on and 
she does this. She just smiles and goos and gars at it. So it's, you know, obviously a nice thing to know that she enjoys looking at and exploring. But that is all for this week. Um, I will talk to you guys next week. Okay. Bye, guys.